Okay, so what are we talking about here today? We are talking about how to style knee-high boots. Yes. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you have joined me here today. So uh, knee-high boots seem to be on the top of the trends lists. Um, I think they're always valid. They're always around. You know, you're never gonna be like not in style if you wear knee-high boots, but yes, currently they are quite trendy. So that's fun. just got a pair of knee-high boots recently. If you follow me on my other channel, The Edgy Minimalist, you saw my video, Am I a Bad Minimalist, when I decided to buy the Ghani Country Boot, uh, which is a knee-high boot. And so the thing with knee-high boots that has actually kept me away from them for a long time is that they're kind of a tricky, they're kind of a tricky boot to, to style. They kind of cut your leg off at, you know, well, I guess the halfway point. <laughs> So I think it's just, you know, it's always a little bit like, what do I wear with them? What sort of pants? You know, it's just, it's a little bit limiting. That's why I decided to make today's video because yeah, I wanted to help others with this sort of conundrum that I faced. Um, but now having these boots for myself, um, I sort of challenged myself before I even bought the boots to kind of think of at least 10 outfits that I could wear with the boots um, in a practical everyday sort of way. Look at me rhyming. Along with that, I spent a good amount of money on these boots. <laughs> so um, to make it worth it, um, yeah, I need to style it up. In that video as well that I did on my edgy minimalist channel, uh, I sort of left the styling bit out for the mere fact that I knew I was gonna be doing this video on this channel. So they kind of go together in that way. This video is not sponsored and these boots were not even gifted to me, not for lack of trying. Trust me, this is purely just me loving these boots so much that I obsessed about it for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, and then finally made the purchase and decided that it was a good investment for my channel as well as my wardrobe. So there we go. So I will be styling the Ghani Country Boot in recycled rubber, uh, and we will be looking at 10 different outfits to kind of give you a good range of looks. All the looks that I share here today, I will make sure to list them down below, give links down below for the different pieces. And if something is sold out or not available anymore, I will try my best to provide the best alternative link that I can. When you make your purchases through those links, it definitely helps a girl out because it gives me a little commission on your purchase. So if you do make that purchase, I thank you and I really appreciate your support in this channel. Okay, with that, let's get started. Okay, so look number one. So I love contrast. I love, you know, feminine combined with masculine. I love tight combined with oversized. So this look to me just kind of encompasses that. Uh, the, you know, leggings being a little bit more form fitting and a little more feminine than that way, uh, combined then with the mas masculinity, the chunkiness of the boot, as well as the boots kind of adding a sort of another layer, another dimension to the legging. Cause leggings can sometimes be a little bit boring or fall a little flat. Then combining the oversized t-shirt adds a little bit of playfulness, a little bit of youthfulness to the more mature sort of mom vibe of the leggings. And then topping that off with some sophistication with the oversized blazer. But again, still a little bit of playfulness, a little bit of edge with it being an oversized fit. So you've got some fun contrasts in this look. So outfit number two. So the denim on denim, I just think is always just a real chic, timeless sort of look. But I think sometimes it's kind of fun to break it up a bit with like a belt, um, a little zhuzh of a tuck uh, to just kind of give it a little more detail, uh, a little more interest. These jeans in particular are perfect because they are a tapered fit. So they just fit in that uh, boot real nicely. Um, I think the boots are great because they bring in that edge. Look number three. I think this is a perfect look for just those days that you wanna be comfy, but not look like, you know, a frumpalump. So um, you can still be comfortable, but still look 
kind of edgy chic, which is normally my my wheelhouse <laughs> where I'm where I'm uh, you know living. So with these sort of harem style drop cross joggers, I love them because they're just they've got that edge. Um, they're not just like another basic boring pair of sweatpants with a tapered fit. Uh, they just fit into those boots perfectly. I paired it with a button up shirt because I don't wanna go too far over on the casual side. So bringing in that um, button up shirt is going to kind of balance out the casualness of the sweatpants. And then finishing it off with a denim jacket and a vest over top, just kind of brings it home for those warmer, wintry days. Okay, look number four. So this is a great look because leggings are just a great, easy go-to to wear with knee-high boots. They're just easy, right? Because they're super tight. And then the boots, obviously they fit perfectly into the boots and it's just a good contrast as well. Um, because sometimes I think, you know, leggings can get a little too like tapered or just a little too, like I said, they can kind of fall flat um, with detail or fall flat with that sort of texture or dimension so they can get boring real quick. So I do think this is like a perfect pairing, the more edgier masculine knee high boot with the legging. So with this look, I wanted to ba balance out that casualness of the legging, the masculinity of the boot, the chunkier silhouette of the boot with some more sophistication. So we've got the turtleneck on top with the buttoned up blazer over top. Again, oversized to, you know, balance out the volume of the boot, but as well as that, give contrast to the legging. Number five. Number five is a pretty straightforward everyday sort of look. You know, you got the jeans with the cropped uh, button up shirt. It could just be a normal length, you know, Oxford button up shirt as well. It doesn't have to be cropped necessarily. And then just paired with a blazer. Uh, again, it's just kind of like a casual, straightforward look. But then what I love about this specific look is with these specific boots is you're bringing in that sort of edginess, that chunkiness that is going to kind of elevate that everyday look. Outfit number six. This one's a lot more, I'd say, on the masculine side. Um, a little bit more of that boyish charm with the chunkier boot combined with the harem style drop crotch uh, chino from Nelly Lotin, and then pairing with the oversized sweatshirt, the bandana, and this puffer coat. Yeah, you've got a lot of oversizedness happening, but sometimes I think. You know, when done right, oversized on oversized on oversized just looks good. It just looks, you know, really elevated um, and just edgy. easy everyday look uh, just with the skinnies and the Oxford button up uh, with the overcoat. But again, what I love about these type of boots is you just throw these boots on and it completely transforms this look from a more basic sort of look to then a more edgier elevated look. Skinnies are a great choice for knee high boots because obviously they're more tapered, they're tighter fitting, so they're gonna fit into those boots real nice. Um, and again, um, because when we wear skinnies, sometimes they can get a little bit boring with their silhouette, with their texture. So it's kind of a fun way to shake that up and bring in another dimension, bring in another height, more volume, um, more interest. Number eight. This one's a little bit more playful. This one's a little bit more, um, I guess, daring, maybe. Some might not like that, the look of the chino, the more straight fit, a little bit more of a loose fit, um, being kind of stuffed into the boot. Definitely a little bit of a different silhouette, 
Um, but I love it. I love just, you know, taking something like a chino and styling it in a way that isn't always styled because then, yeah, it changes it up. It changes something classic and timeless um, into something new. The more preppy, sort of casual, uh, sophisticated vibe of the chino then combined with the more edgier style of this particular boot. For me to then just bring in a little bit more contrast, I paired it with this cutesy little graphic t-shirt to again, bring in more playfulness. All right, look number nine. Again, with this look, if you just had the legging and just had the hoodie, you would have kind of a, a basic look, right? A uh, basic casual look. So I think it's important to sort of be mindful then of what, what you're sort of sandwiching with that. I always talk about the style sandwich. Shoes definitely have an impact on that sandwich, definitely have an impact on an outfit. So this is a perfect example of that because then you add in that boot and it just, again, bringing in some volume and some texture and some interest to the legging, but not only that, balancing out the oversized aspect of the the hoodie. So it's just a nice little effortless chic thing. This is again what I talk about when I talk about effortless styling or looking effortless. This is definitely that because um, it's a very casual basic look but then you just top it off with like a zing of style. Um, just really, you know, being mindful of like the type of shoe you're putting with it, making sure it's packed with some real style will elevate it to a point where it'll make it that effortless look because there's not so much style or so much edginess or so much trendiness that it's just obnoxious. Um, but you're not so basic that it's boring. So they're basically both, gosh, how many times am I gonna say basic? Okay, they're ultimately both balancing each other out in that way. And that is what gives you that effortless style. But then to finish it off, I of course had to top it off with my Luna Restore robe to just bring in even more drama and more edge to this basic look and just make it yummy and cozy. So it's just a great cozy duster cardigan for the winter. Wondering what you got for me. Egyptian cotton is hard to be my lady only. I'm wondering what you got for me. Egyptian cotton is hard to be my lady only. Okay, and lastly, look number 10. These pants are like a skinny fit, so they're just gonna fit right into those boots and be a great contrast because they're very form-fitting, very uh, feminine because of that tighter fit, um, and then combined with the more masculine, chunkier silhouette of the boot, so right there, just looks good already. But then the boot kind of being higher sort of dies down the stripe a bit. So then not to take away from the show pieces, not to distract from the show pieces, I kept the top half a little more basic with an oversized crew neck sweater and just put a little detail of the bandana with the oversized overcoat, keeping that effortless chic style. Gives me butterflies. I'm wondering what you got for me. All right, my friends, that is it for today. That is how I style my knee-high boots. So definitely comment down below and let me know what your favorite outfit was. If there's anything that you would like to add for styling knee-high boots, maybe I missed something, but hopefully you gain some inspiration for your own knee-high boot styling. And yeah, if you did, make sure to give me that thumbs up comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes and make sure to click the little bell so you don't miss my episodes. Okay, well, you have a beautiful rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye. Everything you do gives me butterflies. I asked you for the time You got the damn right